Thank you. It is um, just a thrilling and humbling privilege to be here with everybody tonight. Um, no introduction. My favorite introduction that I've ever heard to a reading or a song or anything was, this one goes like this. <laughs> Esther had heard a visiting relative once talk about going to a big reunion on her husband's side of the family. There were more than a hundred people, she'd said. Many of them looked exactly alike, but many of them you'd never tell were related. A family so big you had to have special reunions of them. They'd spread so far and wide. What it must have been like to have a family that large and get back together with them like that. Their family on the island was always so small and seemingly getting smaller, compacting, members converging into one another. So few of them, they'd begun to be more than one relation to one another at a time, men being their daughters, fathers, and husbands, too, mothers being their sons, sisters, the family condensing, imploding, fewer and fewer people, becoming heavier and heavier until one last woman would stand, dark and wholly compacted, herself begat, she her own mother, she her own daughter and sister, all in her one impossibly condensed and sorrowful body, leaden and involute. So when she lay down to die, no one would need to bury her. She would just sink into the ground like a millstone plunging through silty water. Not now, though. Now they were scattered to the sea, the asylum, the poorhouse. Ethan, God knew where, but not coming back, she was sure, although she'd never say so to her son. What a sight it would have been, Esther thought, looking at the island as if it were slipping away and not she, to see that last self-begotten woman, darker than pure dark, heavier than the whole world, standing on the bluff. And what a sight to see the island give way beneath her, as if to her impossible weight, granite and bedrock suddenly could, no, could give no more support than a silk scarf to a statue cast in lead plunging from the spangled, sparkling surface back into the lightless pith of the only womb left strong enough to bear her away to her next and truest birth. She knew how holy it was that one family went into the ark and came forth from it, and she knew how terrible it was, too. Thank you.